All right, guys. So I'm uh, trying to build a jack plate for my canoe, and I went out to Lowe's last night, and I picked up this piece of aluminum angle. Um, it's an eighth of an inch by one and a half inches by three feet long, and I'm gonna cut it into nine inch sections. And I'm gonna make a an adjustable jack plate out of it. Here's some it's a little bit of uh pen work. I was uh trying to plan it out. Um and in total I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, well it doesn't wanna focus, but fourteen ninety eight for the um piece of angle and two dollars and 28 cents for the uh, blade I'm gonna use to cut it with so I'm trying to stay under 20 bucks to build this thing so let's see Alright guys, I'm uh, building this jack plate right now. Uh, this is what I've got so far. It's hard to see. Um, I marked off, I drilled some holes in there, marked them each an inch apart, and this is the actual mount for the motor. Hey Benny. And then uh, these are the actual pieces that are going to be going on the back of the canoe. And yeah, the holes are a little bit crooked. I was having trouble drilling through them. But I'll um, show you how it's going to go. It's going to be like this. Yeah, he's over here. This is going to go on the back of the canoe like that. And then. Um, it should. Benny, come here. This will be up a couple inches, so. It'll probably give me about five inches of lift and setback. All right, guys, so I uh, took the back plate off the uh, canoe, and I've never seen the inside of a canoe transom before, but apparently they're putting wood in them now. And this is what I found. Uh, this wood's completely rotted, and I wasn't planning on having to do any work on the transom like this. Um, but luckily I have some wood I can replace this with, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pull this old piece of wood out, and I'm gonna use it as a template to cut a new piece, and then I'm gonna slide it back down in there, and hopefully it'll have this canoe transom beefed up enough for this uh, jack plate because the jack plate is going to put a lot more stress on the transom than it, just mounting the mo motor regularly would so it definitely needs a new piece of wood and I might as well do the job right while I'm at it so if you ever wanted to know what was inside your tra canoe transom uh, it's probably something similar to this so there you have it